Off to the dragon! We are back with Wonder Jones. Bring it! Hello, audience. From Hi, Wonder! Wonder Jones! Wonder! Wonder, you have some questions for us. Yes, we interview you guys from Family.com. I'm here on behalf of that website. So I'll talk to you about the story. Just make sure the you, you lean in very close. There you go. Yeah, I guess. Can you do me point. a favor when you're done, though, Wonder? Mm-hmm. Can you explain to everyone where your Jones name came from? <laughs> oh, man, that's from being drunk. But we'll <laughs> being drunk. Being drunk. I guess I'll jump right into it. Um, so, so the first question for you guys, well, this is more towards Sako. Okay. Um, the story it better itself. be good. <laughs> the story itself, when did you decide to like uh, open your own comic shop? Uh, we covered this on the podcast before. You probably have. But this is for uh, the exact... <laughs> Actually, I believe the secret origin of CBJ was on the pilot episode, which uh, has yeah. and probably will never Oh, air. really? Yeah. Pretty so, wild. Mm-hmm. That's pretty wild, man. And for the readers who, uh, you know, we decide when we heard so yet. Absolutely. Uh, uh, owning the comic shop, I, I, I never wanted to uh, read or... I never wanted to write or draw comics, but the only thing I always knew that I wanted to do as a kid was have a comic book retail store and uh, I figured I'd end up doing it in my retirement uh, but I had the opportunity uh, much sooner and took, took the fucking opportunity and did my thing and got rid of a shitty partner and brought on the astounding Tiger Jones. Woo! Red Tiger. Exactly. <laughs> I know. And then that's it. I, I don't know. You want me to be more specific? Or? Yeah, yeah. Well, point in your life, you like you know, like the good age you were, and what, what position you were in life, and you decided you know, I'm gonna do my own thing instead of like going somewhere else. Oh, you mean as far as as far as having being an entrepreneur? Yes. Uh, really, actually, pretty early on, you know, I I worked. Uh, I worked for my dad. My dad had a printing business, and uh, I kind of like the fact that wow, you know, he's got his own thing going on, and this could be our family business. And you know, I never, uh, I never really did well in school. I dropped out in junior year, um, and worked at a lot of different retail places, like Petland discounts and shit, and didn't really like taking orders for people and decided fairly early on that, you know, I don't know, I, I wanted to make my own way and uh, I wanted to own my own business or businesses and um, my first love was always comics so like I said before, eventually I felt like I would open something, uh, I just didn't think it would be this soon, you know. And who is, who is that crazy part? What? Ed, my said getting rid of that green. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but my original partner, who Could will I'll re- remain my, nameless. Same question for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the person who will remain completely nameless because uh, that person contributed nothing but money, and that's an easy thing to do when you have. Just lucky. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A dog named Lucky. <laughs> now, for all of you. If you weren't here right now, like working in the, in the shop, what do you think you'd be doing in life right now? If you dead. <laughs> Why no. would be dead? No idea. <laughs> Tiger, what about you? Tiger, working in the shop. Yeah, he owns it. Fucking dickhead. But I mean, as a career, <laughs> I just haven't opened up. Like, I, you know, I have no idea. I fell into this. I'd probably fall into something else. <laughs> like Pizza. What? Like a bitch. Well, what about you? Well, in a career-wise, like, what would you be doing, like, you know, like, after college or um, whatever? The guy who gets to clap that little, um, what's that, like, black and white thing you clap that was, like, actually like, nah. signs? I want to do that for yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's that's actually a goal. So, I mean, you want to, I, I, I have a degree in nothing. Do any of you guys actually have, like, degrees in anything? No, so, you, you looking at me? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, I, yeah. Oh, baby face, how about you? What would you be doing right now? Uh, I was wondering if you'd have me the mic. Uh, I don't know. Let's you don't know if you have a degree? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, that's what I would be doing right now. I'm not sure. But I mean, before this was working at Kmart, the one I worked at closed down. I have no idea where I'd be working right now because I've been focused on it. That, and his comic book knowledge was completely wasted. <laughs> I'd, probably, um, I'd probably be I do have, a, I have uh, an associate's in liberal arts, and I have a bachelor's in English writing and a minor in communications. So. What was your goal in, in 
when we were in college, we would think for a career path during that time. I was taking teaching classes, but I don't think I would have been a good teacher. I, I could be a good teacher, but I didn't have I think problem. you'd be a good teacher. I had the confidence to be a teacher. Uh, and then my I think Tiger, uh, actually, I think Tiger and Waffle would be horrible teachers. <laughs> <laughs> or because of that, I think Tiger could be an awesome teacher. It's like, fuck you. Yeah, well, Tiger, it. Tiger wholeheartedly reminds me of one of my favorite English teachers I had in high school. Brown. Oh, yeah. thank you, but I, yeah, I definitely would be horrible. Oh, yeah, he wasn't very good. He was, he just knew what he was talking about. Yeah. And that's, yeah. yeah. I can kind of imagine Tiger doing like what he would do now, where he just like kind of walks off and just doesn't continue. Yeah. He just walks out in the middle of the class and never comes back. <laughs> Here's the fucking syllabus. Goodbye. <laughs> as far as Ed goes, Ed doesn't work here yet. So you no, don't leave anytime. So Ed, Ed went, I'd be sleeping? <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, well, it's, it's about hey, Ed, uh, quarter to 11 right now, so I, I'd probably be, you know, watching a Netflix movie or something, and then yeah, I'd pop down. How about just a movie? How about just a movie, not a Netflix? I'd probably continue working shitty, shitty into meeting jobs until I found something better. Because, like, when I left Dunkin' Donuts for this, Dunkin' Donuts for this, yeah. I was the only English speaking person on staff. <laughs> Okay, now between the, uh, between the signings that you had at Staffield, creatives coming in, authors, artists, people like that, all kind of creative people. Have you guys ever, like, personally, like, you know, sort of your own creative projects, you know, poetry, writing, art, painting? I have ideas for graphic novels. Like getting written, like, ideas of, like, waiting till I'm more, more, more where I want to go with it. Because I have an idea of a story, but nothing else really. Me and Waffle collaborate yeah. on, uh, on Chip and Ding Dong with Laura Minato, but... Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, it, Lauren's just getting busier and busier. So it's we can't be angry yeah. because I want to see her successful. Yes. But one day, one day we'll break one of our fingers, and she'll just have to do our comedy script. Yeah. <laughs> Babyface has uh, has written some poetry. I know that. And I like Babyface's poetry. Does aspire to be a writer? No. Yeah. I've uh, may have taken a lot of writing classes in college, and I've taken like, film classes. Uh, I haven't written a short story or anything in a while, but I have ideas. I've just been lazy. I write poems, and I'm still lazy with that. But I'm pretty, pretty good. Well, it's a good thing you're not lazy at work. <laughs> uh, I'm awesome at work. You are yeah, absolutely. Right. Cat tigers ever trying to sit down and write anything? No, I'm not creative at all. I just like to enjoy things. I don't think creative. Some sport, the music, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually got a bit of collection. I mean, I, I, I what? <laughs> what? Kind of collection? Yeah. So how's that rum spike subway soda? So you dabble like, in multiple, like you know, graphics. Um, yeah, Tony, right. Tony put the mic down. Scenes with right, your action yeah. figures do not count as creative outputs. Love you too, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been writing a lot of stuff just for many years, but it's more like collected stuff. I, I have great ideas, but I'm just never able to actually like, put into like script or like a comic sign I want to. I had one project that I was been working on, but so my artist like, dropped that very early on. Ideas as in they have a hit paper? The, no, the ideas of paper actually have like whole oh, they, they are descriptions, okay. appendices, or whatever the plural term is for that. That's appendices! <laughs> and I, I actually had something in the works, but my, my artist dropped out, so it's just basically still sitting on paper. You know, I mean, to be fair, figures. I write every fucking week for this goddamn podcast, so. That's like it. I'm writing. What the podcast well, do? Tiger picks his nails. Oh, Tiger says not creative. Yeah. <laughs> you answer your fucking question. So when the, uh, Tiger's creative this week. Every week. What? You write the podcast. Do you, uh, you all like uh, only talk about creative content for the show, show then, right? Do you um, all contribute to like, um, the subjects? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. This is your first podcast. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, we don't we don't script out the whole thing beforehand. It's a to, to be honest, Sako's the only person on the on the podcast that has a named segment. You know, Sako Tommy. Mm -hmm. That's why like, he does research. He tries to do some tries to bring yeah. up something interesting. Yeah, it's, it's usually like a half hour before the podcast. Yeah, no, it's so I'm still pretty, work. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Yeah, I write notes sometimes. I write notes sometimes. <laughs> I find funny pictures to send assholes in emails. <laughs> <laughs> usually, when Babyface writes his notes. He gets caught passing them to Waffle, and they both have to read it. Have a time out with Tiger. <laughs> yeah. You should buy the Raptor cages. Time out your spot for, for the kids. <laughs> Put the that fake Raptor in. Guess who would do nothing bad ever? Well, you got to go to the Raptor cage again. <laughs> no! No! Would you, would you record sounds for it, like the fake Raptor? I would just play. Jura I just play that opening scene of Jurassic Park. And yeah. the with the guy <laughs> speaking, yelling. So they're in there. They don't know who's outside screaming the same sentence again. <laughs> And, and get get a replica of uh, Samuel Jackson's arm from the movie. 
Yeah. Gone, Wonder Gone. Stop now, and story. You, also, you guys also have weekly and monthly events. You have the you know, War Machine thing is going on, the Picture Books Anonymous. Can you guys tell me some um, more about that to our audience and readers? Yeah, well, Picture Books Anonymous is a monthly graphic novel club. We meet uh, one Monday a month, pick a book. Usually it's ranges right, anything from superheroes to indies to whatever we feel like reading. Uh, we discuss it. Sometimes we have the creator down, it's very local, and they want to do it. That's it. What's that, How do you decide what books go on the list of like? Uh, well, we all put books on the list, so like a master list, and then we go from there. So you but what he, what he means go. by we all is it? It's not the staff that does it. It's yeah, people who are members. members. Yeah. Well, I, I, I edit a lot of stuff. I've edited, I've edited a bit to the list. Speaking of Picture Books Anonymous, so our last meeting was this past Monday. <laughs> and this story is great because we're all baffled by it. We did a Jeff Lemire's <laughs> graphic novel, The Underwater Welder. For the past week, the amount of people have called the store and like emailed the store and wrote us on Facebook about like, oh, what time is Jeff Lemire going to be at the store? All of us are like, what? Where, where, do you, where did you get this info that we're having a signing Tiger, with Jeff? Tiger wrote such a great email the week before. It, it says <laughs> it, it has a picture of Underwater Welder. Like, his, his name is not even highlighted. Mistakes, just, mistakes are easy. But it's, it's amazing. And I wish we had him. It would have been a very successful. Well, now we know if we had Jeff Lemire, it would be did a you, very successful. Have you, yeah. you asked him to be? Sorry. No, I haven't. I haven't found his email. Now, Waffle, with the events you host, the War Machine, Magic the Gathering, okay. you have know, the branch outside of comic books, do you can still need more of that? Like, you know, to explore I, other. I, I always things. think gaming is an edge, edge of nerddom that people fear away from because it's not virtual. You know, video games hold sway. But you being a player that plays War Machine with me, actually, um, we just try to get a couple, a good couple guys down every week to come play a war game. And we all kind of got into it around the same time, a couple of us anyway. And it's just fun. None of us are really competitive. We, God forbid we keep track of anything. Um, we just kind of bullshit and just have fun. And the more the merrier. We're down to teach any single person that walks in. Any of us, most of us are, are familiar with the rules back and forward that we can teach anybody that wanders in. Even kids, it's not a complicated game. And with magic, magic is never going to go away. It's one of those things that can't die. 20, 21 years in, it's not going anywhere. So it's just, Okay, now it's board games getting popular now too. Like Small World is a popular game. Well, Team yeah. Tokyo. What are you thinking about bringing in the big thing for uh, games also? I have personal games that we played after War Machine and stuff. Like personal games. games. Like the games I own and stuff. <laughs> but uh, other than that, if there was more shelf space, maybe. But it's we're a comic shop, first and foremost, I hate to say. Everything else comes secondary after the graphic form. Do so. you uh, want to play Small World later longer? Yes, I do. <laughs> 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 A question about comic books, movies, TV shows, things of such. You transitioned pretty nicely to like uh, different mediums. What books would you guys like to see? Like, your personal favorites, or things you would make, make a great TV show, movie, video game, and such like that. TV show turns much of all. Why would be a really great HBO Max series kind of thing? Starring Anton Yelchin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if anybody ever gets the Preacher formula right, yeah, I'd love to see that. I always like say lock and key. Yeah. Yes. yeah. American yeah. Vampire is a television American, show. With American Horror Story running, I don't see lock and key like as a crazy thought. That's because they tried it. You know, there's actually like a live action pilot for lock and key, right? Really? It, it, it looks oh, that's good. right. No, the first ep, the first volume, that first volume was happening an issue. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing like pilot, like so and so. Okay. That's it right. It looks really cool. How, how it didn't get picked up just fucking beyond me. Somebody did it wrong. Because well, you never saw it. I yeah. Mean, you weren't part of the if you don't work in television, <laughs> 100 Bullets is a television show. That, 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 would, that would be the easiest sell. Yeah, I mean, I think along those lines, Scout as a, a TV show. Anything, a lot, most of what Vertigo's put out in the last 10 years. Yeah. Tales designed to drizzle video game. <laughs> that is hilarious. No idea where that would go. Yeah. I, I would it's, that. it's just as expansive as the South Park it video game. Just, but it should just be for like the 3DS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's only on the Nomad. Yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> Sega CD. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> There's 70 people in the world that have one. I'd like to see a crossed app. Oh my god. I mean, <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't mind like a back and forth, irredeemable and uh, incorruptible kind of show yeah. with like a singular name, but those two characters like a split storyline mm -hmm. would actually probably work really cool because you could do that on ca on cable. There's nothing really bad about those books. Yeah. 
No Hero would be a really cool movie. What about Saga? No one's Saga. It's funny, I think Saga's... What I love about that book... Sega! Yeah. Is, uh... I think it is truly unique to the comics media. Because it is yeah. so imaginative. I, I was hoping it, that you didn't say you hope it is, because that to me is one of the only yeah. books that It is exist. so imaginative, and the things that he does, but with, with the maturity yeah. and, and the content that he covers, to make that movie would cost $150 million. Just for this opening be, shot. Yeah, and it would have to be rated R. Like, it might be better than the TV show, I think. No, with, uh, under yeah, the, like, yeah, yeah it would be a great HBO show, but HBO yeah. would never put up the money you would need to do. Yeah, I think Saga is absolutely, absolutely amazing, but I think it's still too early in the, in the series itself. I, I personally... I think Saga would be good as, like, two trilogies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, th I, I kind of agree with that. There's some things I just can't see escaping the graphic form. I'm with it. There's some things That's why I feel like use. they should never do anything with Preacher. I read an article recently that actually changed the way I think a little bit about new comics to movies. And it was a specific scene from an early ASM issue. It's the issue where he has all the rubble on him and he's pushing it up. And it's like a good five pages of just like intense internal struggle of him talking about the, his own personal strength and like his life at the moment and all that. That would be a minute and a half and completely lost in a, in a movie. Or, or it'd be the most boring five minutes right. of somebody. Yeah. But in the graphic form, seven pages of this? Holy shit. Yeah. There's no. some things that just don't happen. We got to go on the shows that are out now. Arrow, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, Constantine's coming out soon. Which one? Gotham City. Constantine's having a show soon, too. Whoa. And then uh, we have uh, <laughs> Gotham, Gotham City, uh, the Commissioner Gordon series. That, that I'm looking forward to. Constantine, I didn't know what I'm excited for now. Yeah, that's in development at NBC. Oh, I think there's Constantine and there's another there's one. There's The Flash. Yeah, yeah, Flash. I, I love the Constantine film, honestly. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. wouldn't mind a show. I, well, that uh, that's a pilot I, that hasn't been. No, but I wouldn't. I'm yeah. gonna call it right now that we'll never see Owlman. No, never. No. <laughs> I, I love Arrow. I think it's a fantastic show. So you know yeah. what I want to see a show for? Wildcat. Yeah. I, I want to see the crazy guy that's a boxer who just wears an outfit and fights. I thought, I thought that Wildcats at first. <laughs> no. that, that, that would work too. On three DS video games, I'd like to see a milk and cheese video game. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could yes. the object just to be getting drunk and then watch cutscenes? shit up, man. No, no, you just, you make them drink and then there's cutscenes yeah. of the destruction. Oh, the, and then it ends yeah. up them waking up like, what happened? I drink, like, drink, drink! The boss <laughs> at the end should be Merv Griffin. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> well, you talk about Evan Dork, I was uh, recently <coughs> reading, I'm in the middle of it right now, the first uh, Beast of Burden's hardcover. The and only Beast of Burden hardcover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so far. Yeah, yeah exactly. by the way, yeah. also. Yeah, <laughs> and that that is such it's a, a club, Bobby yes. heartfelt, poignant story. Beautiful. Yeah, it's really. You should read. You should read his other stuff because mm. he it carries throughout all his work. It's just hard to tell under the layer of humor sometimes. Yeah, I wish I could find it was important. Yeah. Now, uh, um, same question. I guess I have to transition things again. Particularly video games, you know, Welcome Dead and New Cable's game out. Have you guys got around to playing these games, trying them out, and um, no. you know, video? Work? I played the Walking Dead game, it's really good. I actually like it better than the show. The story is way better. Do you think any more uh, series is? You go to like, you know, video game format? Oh, uh, maybe. Actually, I was going to comment about movies and all that stuff. I, I mean, I enjoy comics, I enjoy the stories in them. I don't need it again in a movie yeah. or a television show. Like, I'm glad that they have people to enjoy, but there's a billion other shows and movies that I'd rather watch. Than see the same stuff again. I'm sure you enjoy that about the Marvel Universe. I changed stuff. my mind about I everything. I don't fucking care either. Yeah, it's Tom Story. Yeah, the Last Rounds. Okay, that was my last question for the uh, segment. Well, thank uh, you very much, guys. Thank you, Wonder. Thank you, Wonder Joe. Thank you. Examiner.com. Now, first uh, on-air interview. Woo! Uh, yeah, our first Great interview. Album. Yeah, right. now it's time <clears throat> for DC. Yes, I have to pay.